Hi, my name is Lisa Allen. Welcome to this lesson in English. En esta lección tenemos dos objetivos, identificar sustantivos y distinguir entre sustantivos contables y no contables. Estos sustantivos son nuestro contenido conceptual. El profesor de la clase de inglés va a explicar un proyecto especial. Empezamos con la lección. Let's begin the lesson. Identify nouns. Nouns, in English, are words that name. Here on this screen, we see nouns in the middle and the four things they name around them. Nouns name people. They can name places. They can name things and ideas. Now, what is ideas? Ideas would be like love, jealousy, hate, things that we would consider emotions we'll call ideas. Those are nouns. Now, normally, a noun comes after words like a, an, and the. So when you see a, an, and the, you will find a noun soon after. And also, these nouns can come after adjectives. Examples, black, big, loud, your. Just after those adjectives, or after other adjectives with them, you will find nouns. Now, let's distinguish between count and non-count. What is that? Count nouns are nouns that can be counted as separate items. You can separate them and then count them. For example, girls. You could have four girls. Or farms. You could have two farms. Apples. You could have a basket of 20 apples. Plates. Cows. Count nouns you can count. But non-count nouns cannot be counted. You don't separate and count these nouns. For example, sugar. Now, sugar has grains, but we don't say, I want three little sugars, please. We can't separate and count the sugar. Rice, water, love. Love is a noun, but we can't count it. I have four loves today. No, we can't do that. Also, liquids like water or milk or juice, we can't count. So that's how we separate our nouns. So let's try to see if you can do it. Can you separate between the count and non-count nouns. For example, bread. Is it count or is it non-count? Now, we're not talking about pieces of bread because the word pieces is not here. Just bread. Bread is non-count. We don't say, I want three breads. Flower. This is the flower, arena. Non-count. Sandwich. You can eat two sandwiches for lunch. That would be count. Team. You can have lots of teams. Count. Book. Libraries are full of books. That's a count noun. And milk, non-count. Remember, liquids are non-count nouns. Now, hint, hint, hint. Count nouns can be identified if numbers in front of the noun make sense. What does that mean? If I can put a number in front of the noun and it makes sense, that's probably a count noun. For example, the word cups. Can I say three cups? Yes, that makes sense. That's a count noun. How about spaghetti? Would I say, hey mom, give me nine spaghettis? No, that's a non-count noun. Pillow? Five pillows? Yes, count. Salt? I need two salts on my meat? No, that's non-count. Now let's practice something else. Tell if the bold print noun in the sentence is count or non-count. Here we go. The breakfast cereal is delicious. Cereal. Count or non-count? You should say non-count. Two. Strawberries are my favorite fruit. Strawberries? Count. The coffee is strong and black. Coffee. Non-count. Four. For dinner, the family ate pasta. 
non count. Beans and rice are traditional in Honduras. Beans count, but rice non count. Okay, nouns in sentences. Find the nouns in the following sentences and you tell me if they are count or non count. Number one, the old man broke down in the road. What is the first noun? Man. And anything else? Road. Man is good. Count and road is count as well. You can have three men, you can have four roads. Number two, my mom bought our juice and vegetables at the market. Mom, juice, vegetables, and market. Mom is count. Vegetables and market are count, but juice is non-count. Number three, the workers in the factory drank coffee every day at lunch. Workers, factory, coffee, day, and lunch. Which ones are count and non-count? All of them are count nouns except coffee. And finally, the chef in Camperos won a cooking award. Chef, Camperos, an award. And are they count or non-count? They are all count. In this lesson, there are many new vocabulary words. Separate, flower, hint, cups, bold print, strawberries, beans, corn, make sense, items, sandwich, identified, pillow, beaches, rice, and may I. Hemos terminado con dos objetivos, identificar sustantivos y distinguir entre sustantivos contables y no contables. Y estos sustantivos son nuestro contenido conceptual. Thank you.